In this lesson, we'll be talking about horizontal and vertical lines on a graph. What's the difference between horizontal and vertical again? Well, an example is thinking about your phone. Lots of people are upset by vertical videos, especially on YouTube. It looks all nasty. You only see, um, it only takes up part of the screen because you shot your video up and down. And that's what vertical is, up and down. Horizontal is kind of sideways like this, thinking uh, long ways or like the horizon in the sky. The horizon is horizontal. It goes left and right. So what would cause something like that on a graph? Well, here's a nice example. The equation y equals 1. You can see here that there's no x value because the x value does not matter. The important thing here is that y equals 1. Well, where does y equal 1? Here is a, here's the y-axis. y is 1 right here. And y is 1 always through here. If I'm on this line, y is 1. And x can be whatever it wants for forever. But this is the line always where y equals 1. Remember that the line represents the solutions. So, any time that y is 1, x can be 0 as long as y is 1. That's on the line. Let's throw a bunch of 1s down here. This could be any point. Uh, 1, 2.655, um, negative 3.41. See all these all these points land on the line because they're all solutions. Y is always 1. It does not matter what X is. So if Y is 1, then 1 equals 1, and these are solutions. I can move this around, and whatever Y equals, that's where my line's going to go. If Y needs to equal 0, this is where Y always equals 0. Always is 0 right there. If Y needs to equal negative 4, or negative 5.3, that's where the line's going to go. Here's where y is always negative 5.3 along this line. And you can see if y equals a number, then it is a horizontal, left to right, like the horizon, horizontal line at that point. Because this is the line where y will always be negative 5.3. Let's look at a different example here. What about a vertical line? It's the same thing except a different direction. Let's say x needs to equal 3. Well, here is the point where x equals 3. I go over 1, 2, 3. This is where x is 3. And every point on this line is where x is 3. In this case, there's no y in this equation. There's no y value because it doesn't matter. y can be whatever it wants as long as x is 3. Here is where x is 3. Again, I can throw in lots of points here. And y can be whatever it wants as long as x is always 3. It's going to fall on our line here. right? These are all solutions. Wherever x is 3, it will be on this line. doesn't matter what it y is. So you can see that x will give us a vertical line because here is where x is 3. y will give us a horizontal line. Let's throw in another example because here is where y is 5. And obviously they cross where x is 3 and y is 5. Right? Horizontal for y equals and vertical for x equals.